2,147,483,647 is the most broken number that exists. From capping statistics in games, to making the far lands generate, to breaking your score in certain games, to causing your character to glitch out, this number has become quite infamous for being broken in a way, to the point where it can break stuff outside of games alone. This is why this number, the 32-bit integer limit, is the most broken number that there is. So I've explained this a little in the past, but I think it's always worth re-explaining. Numbers use binary or base 2 to store what it is, it's simply just a different base to represent numbers, just like base 10, but for powers of 2 instead. So instead of each digit representing a power of 10, it represents a power of 2. This means 100 will be 4 instead of 100, because 4 is the second power of 2 rather than the second power of 10. Here's an example of what I mean. So as we're dealing with base 2, in the 1's place there's a 0. In the 2's place, not the 10's place, because it's base 2, there's also a 0, but in the 4's place, there's a 1. That's how it's a 4. And actually, the same logic applies to every base that exists, however, I'm not getting into that here. The issue is that, with the way this number is stored, there's only 32 bits, or slots, that can be used as bits for the number itself, with one being allocated for the sign, which means whether it's positive or negative, and the other 31 are for the actual number itself. Once this number gets beyond 2 to the 31, it does something called an integer overflow, where the number wraps to the lowest possible value, or in some cases, it stays capped at 2,147,483,647, such as in game statistics. In some cases, yeah, that's what this is about. So let's go over a couple examples of how this breaks things. This is easily the most common example of a broken thing within a game, the Far Lands and actually even the Farther Lands by extension. At 12,550,824 and 1,004,065,923, the Far and Farther Lands show up. But there's a very specific reason those numbers pop up, and it has everything to do with the 32-bit integer limit. For the Far Lands, you take this number and divide it by 171.103. That gives you the Far Lands distance, and that number, 171.103, isn't a coincidence either. It's actually the amount of Perl and Noise iterations per block, or times a random value between 0 and 1 is picked essentially, which is how Minecraft gets its natural terrain look. As for the Farther Lands, it's the same thing. Take 2,147,483,647 and divide it by 2.1387875, which is the selector noise iterations per block. In both of these instances, at their respective distance, stuff breaks, and it's very visually obvious too, so that's really cool. There's also another thing that breaks, and that's fancy clouds in old Minecraft versions. If you take the amount of blocks out they break, which is about 25.9 billion, and divide that by 12, you get the 32-bit integer limit. That's how many quote-unquote pixels away from spawn it needs to get to break, and by pixels I mean pixels in the cloud texture. Actually, there's an even more visually obvious bug in another game, and this one I have legitimately covered before. This is Roblox's floating point limit. While nothing here specifically breaks at 2,147,483,647, it does look really, really fucking cool, and by that, I mean your character kind of just disappears and stuff. Also, at this distance, your camera refuses to work properly in the right circumstances, such as when you're on all three axes because of floating point precision issues. This doesn't just apply to Roblox, by the way. It applies to every single game that has used flows as their system to store numbers ever. This includes games like Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which, while it doesn't break anything specific at 2.147 billion, does crash there. It really starts to break past 131,072 instead, but hey, it's power of two. Can't go wrong with that. In Java Edition, it does the same thing at 131,072, but at 2 to the 48, or 281 trillion, 474 billion, 976 million, 710,656 instead, and it crashes like in Bedrock with the Stripe Lands, and 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million, 775,807, with this mod that extends to rain generation, give or take. This applies to every game that has ever used floats or doubles at its positioning system ever, and yes, I mean all of them, even in this one very niche game called Cosmic Reach, which actually breaks how this next example does. What this next example is, 
is with old versions of Optifine, where it had this really weird bug that affected how blocks looked really far out. This isn't the Roblox one, by the way, as it's affected by your screen's pixels rather than the values you're working with in-game directly. So at 32,767, the loss is 0.00195312, which multiplied by my screen's resolution, means horizontally it's about 3.75 pixels of loss, which is 4 rounded up. That isn't too noticeable. However, at 131,072 or so, it becomes really noticeable with 15 pixels of loss rather than 4. You could probably see how this would spiral out of control really fucking quick. So, yeah. Actually, here's a couple examples of this very thing. Before we do this, by the way, here's a seizure warning until this timestamp. You're gonna need it. So this is 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, a million, 16,777,216, which I'll get into the significance of that later, 67,108,864, and finally, half of the 32-bit integer limit. Yeah, you could probably see why you would want to fix this bug. On top of this, there's also old versions of Minecraft Beta, where only the camera bugged out in the same way Bedrock Edition's positioning does. It bugs out starting at 8192 or so, and it gets worse from there. There's also a couple more niche examples, like your breaks and Broken Ones 4 and stuff like that, though I don't really think those are worth mentioning that much. Either way, for now, let's move on to Part 3. This is likely the most common example of an integer overflow in the world as a whole, but if you don't really know what Unix time is, don't worry, it's actually really easy to understand, and I won't go too much into specifics here. So in the 1970s, Unix time was developed as a way to keep track of time for the operating system Unix, going up by 60 units per second rather than 1. This would be able to represent about 2 years worth of timestamps, up until around March 1972. Eventually it was changed to tick up by 1 per second, which is what is used now. There is one issue though. This system relies solely on the 32-bit integer limit to keep track of timestamps, not an unsigned one either, which would allow for all 32 bits to be used for the number doubling the amount of seconds allowed. Meaning, it will break at 2,147,483,647. But when is that specifically? So this is actually fairly easy to calculate. We know it starts at January 1st, 1970 at 12 a.m., which is called the Unix Epoch, so that isn't really any issue at all. So we take 2.147 billion seconds, divide by 60 twice to get the amount of hours, then divide by 24 for days, then again by 365.25 for the year. And with this, we get 68.049 years, which means in 2038, Unix time will break. We're specifically on January 19th at 3.1407 a.m. So yeah, get ready, because in only 14 years, all of your 32-bit devices will break really badly. As for 64-bit systems, they'll be fine as the vast majority now use 64-bit Unix time. It counts up by 1 billion per second, but because the highest number you can use is 9.223 whatever quintillion, it doesn't even matter as that still gives you 9.223 billion seconds. This will mean we will be fine until April 11th, 2262 at 747.16 PM. So we will have plenty of time to prepare for any catastrophes there. So yeah. This chapter of the video is named Statistical Anomalies for a very good reason, as we will be covering, well, statistics in games. For whatever reason, in a lot of cases, once you hit 2 to the 31 minus 1, the number just capped itself instead of overflowing. I don't know why, but I guess there's probably something in the code stadium that hits that number, it can't go beyond it or something like that. Or it's just broken up Pearl and Noises beyond 2 to the 31 minus 1, where it kind of just capped itself at that point for literally no reason. So yeah. This means in most cases, at 2,147,483,647, you cannot, for any reason, go higher. So, that's really neat, I suppose. By the way, this doesn't just apply to specific things either. This applies to literally everything statistics-wise, and I mean everything, too. I'm talking enchant limit level, items dropped, items used, certain blocks placed, your XP, your fucking level amount, everything. Oh, also, this applies to the amount of hard second render on screen, and also the amount of items you can have in your inventory in older Minecraft versions, shown here, on top of a massive laundry list of stuff that should show up on screen right now. There's also another thing that I guess qualifies here, and it's Osu, believe it or not. Once you hit the 32-bit integer limit for your score, it actually starts counting down towards zero until it goes up again and the cycle repeats itself. 
The only way this would even be possible is if it took the absolute value of your score and used that to display on screen instead, but the real score's value is negative. This section is going to be a little bit long like the Unix time one, but yes, there are broken numbers besides the 32 bit integer limit. There's actually a solid 5 or 6 of them. I'll start with the second most broken number, the 64 bit integer limit. The best example I can think of for this one is actually Minecraft's time system in game being broken. After around 384 trillion, 307 billion, 168 million, 200,000, 282 days in game, the 64 bit limit of ticks is broken and time begins running backwards. Also, the reason the 64 bit limit of ticks is broken is because each in game day is 24,000 ticks and multiplied by the 384 trillion number gives you the 64 bit integer limit. The next one I'm going to show is 16,777,216. I've used and talked about this number in the past, but I haven't really explained the significance up until this moment, I guess, apart from the fact that precision with floats around here is worse than one. This number is what's called a max safe integer, which means that this is the highest voting point number that can be represented as an integer, or a whole number that can count up by one basically between each integer. This is actually visually apparent when you get to the stripe lands in Bedrock, by the way, and it's actually why they look like they do and why they exist at all. Actually, there's two max safe integers, the other one being this 64 bit version. This number is 2 to the 53, which is this thing right here. 9 quadrillion, 7 trillion, 199 billion, 254 million, 940,992. This is where Minecraft Java Stripe Lands occur, and any visual issues with doubles will show here if they haven't until this point, because this is, again, the second's max safe integer. Instead of for a float, it's for a double. The last two numbers aren't really used much of ever because they're actually the highest numbers computers can understand if you use conventional means, such as a float or a double. These are 340.323 on Decillion, or 3.403 times 10 to the 38, and 179.769 on Centillion, or 1.7976 times 10 to the 308. Once you get past these points in literally any game, whatever number is using it will either get converted to infinity or nan, aka not a number. The best example for 340 on Decillion is in Roblox, as I showed earlier. As you can see, nothing is actually happening for either of these games because of how broken they are. And then we have 179.769 on Centillion, which again gets around to infinity if you go beyond it. This is that Minecraft and it immediately crashes. As for Nan, this is what happens on Roblox. You simply can't move for a couple seconds and lighting is kind of weird as well. It just crashes completely. Oh, and before I forget, there's also 4,294,967,295, which only will break stuff if the number being used is an unsigned 32-bit integer, so that the first signed bit isn't actually signed bit at all, and is just allocated as another power of two. This only breaks in very specific use cases in games, such as sounds in Super Mario 64 repeating after that many units of time have passed. But a cool thing about this number is that it's actually the total number of IPv4 addresses that can exist, and this also means we've already run out of them, as there's more people with an IP address than IP addresses in this format, which is actually why IPv6 exists. Yeah. There are other use cases, but they aren't really exactly worth explaining since they aren't really used a whole lot. Either way, as you can see, in general, it's very broken. I won't touch on this much here or really ever after this, as it's never used like anywhere ever, but in certain Minecraft mods like this 1.3.2 one that allows for you to go almost infinity blocks out, it uses something called arbitrary precision for your position. God, that was hard to pronounce. It's generally used in a code library called BigNum, and I think it might be what Wolfram Alpha uses for its own calculator, which is how I calculated how many Roblox games could exist a while back. Theoretically, the maximum number achievable with just an integer alone in the system would be 2 to the power of how many bits are usable in your system. Yes, it accounts for hard drive storage too. So in my case, I have 2 terabytes of storage, but only one is usable, so I'll use that as the example. 1 terabyte, which is actually this, converted to bits, is 8,796,093,022,208 bits, give or take. This means the highest amount I can get you to using this method is 2 to the power of 8.796093 trillion, or 1.776180332712, times 10 to the 2,647,887,844,335, as an integer. 
that number would, no joke, be 2.647887 trillion digits long as well, by the way. Depending on how much storage you have, this can go much, much higher as well if you really felt like it, but there isn't really a use case for this apart from calculating stupid big numbers. On top of that, there's also stuff like quadruple precision floating point, which is this, where the exponent is 15 bits and the fraction is 112, and the maximum number is this, and octuple floating point precision, where the exponent is 19 bits and the fraction is 236 bits, meaning the highest possible value is this. More specifically, 1.6113 times 10 to the 78,913. Yes, seriously. So yeah, that's how 2,147,483,647 along with its counterparts are the most broken numbers that exist. It's even broken in unique in ways I didn't mention here, such as it being a Mersenne prime which is the prime number directly under a power of 2, the 8th one for that matter. And while again, other numbers do break certain things, they're much less prevalent than this one, apart from the 64-bit integer limit, as that is really common nowadays, but still likely less infamous than 2 to the 31 minus 1, and also I made a video about two, that number specifically, so whatever. So yeah, that's how 2,147,483,647 and its counterparts are the most broken numbers that exist. Thanks for watching.